we're on the road for my first ever bike packing trip. I'm pretty excited about this. I love the bike and I love the camp. So let's put those two together. This is easily my favorite time of year to come up to the Gatineau Park. I mean, it's beautiful all the time. Even winter is really nice, but with the leaves changing here in uh, October, that's awesome. Really, really makes your bike ride and your camping experience so much better. And it's already pretty good to start with. So I've done a lot of firsts on this channel this year. I've only started it a couple months ago, but I've been able to go uh, backpacking, um, hiking, camping. I've been able to do car camping. I've been able to do uh, SUV camping, canoe camping, kayak camping, you name it, I've been able to do it. And I absolutely love doing all those forms of camping. So one of the other ones I wanted to try was this bike packing. I wanted to do it in the fall up here because I know that the leaves are gonna be great. So far, so good. Uh, we still got a ways to go here, but uh, it, it's been a lot of fun. It's been a learning experience to figure out what you should pack, uh, what you don't need. I tend to pack on the heavy side, but this time I was packing really late, almost as if I was uh, hiking into a campsite. I, I knew I couldn't carry a lot of stuff with me, so uh, that's good. One problem I will have is uh, I need to make sure I filter that water. I brought a filter and uh, we're going to boil the water. The other thing is firewood. Uh, no Park, you're not allowed to uh, scavenger for firewood, dead wood, no matter what. You're just supposed to leave it, and that's fine. That's the rules. So I got to go buy firewood, and I have to dump all my gear and then go back and get the firewood because it's going to be pretty heavy. So it's all part of the plan. I know where I'm going. Uh, hopefully everything works the plan, and uh, it's good, and I can have a nice big roaring fire tonight. I made it. <sighs> so I made it. I'm not gonna lie, that was a lot tougher than I thought it was gonna be. Not just the biking, but the stopping, filming, biking, filming, biking, stopping, all that kind of stuff. It made it kind of tough, so anyways. Glad I'm here. Beautiful campsite, beautiful area. The trees look fantastic. They've all uh, started to change colors. So that's great. So I'm here. We're doing some hammock camping tonight. I have a new underquill that I want to try out. It's supposed to get a little chilly tonight, but I'm hoping that's going to be okay. So I got to set up camp. I'm starving. I have some homemade pea soup that I'm going to reheat and have some of that. So let's get started there, get some food and then uh, We'll set up camp after that. Oh, actually, first I'm gonna need some more water. This homemade pea soup is gonna really hit the spot. Uh, it was a good ride today. Now I do a lot of biking, so uh, that part doesn't really concern me, but I was really surprised on how difficult it was 
the hills, uh, on the uneven gra uh, gravel, the dirt paths, when you have that much weight on your bike. For me, I found that was a big, big difference and it, uh, it really uh, was kind of a shock for me. So I wasn't really uh, going too heavy with my, my gear. As you can see, I didn't have that much stuff. Uh, I'm pretty light packer when it comes to uh, bike packing and camping. But since this is my first time, I wanted to go light. And uh, yeah, I think it was, it was definitely a good experience so far. Um, we'll see what the ride back is like. The, the biggest thing for me was uh, just take my time. Anyway, so we're gonna enjoy a little bit of homemade pea soup. We have some nine bread here, we'll dip it in. And then after this, mm, that's pretty good. After this, we still gotta get motoring. I have to set up the hammock and the underquilt and all that kind of stuff. I'm not gonna go with a, uh, a tarp today. You know what, I don't even think I'm gonna use my, uh, my bug net. Uh, hardly any bugs out here, knock on wood. I don't like the idea of not having anything over top of me. But uh, we'll see. Maybe the critters will uh, go easy on me today. So, anyways, I'm gonna enjoy this, and then we gotta get going. Not really sure there's enough space here. Don't really have any options, unfortunately. Uh, okay. Let's do our best. Moment of truth. No laughing if I fall. Seems to hold my weight. That's good. How much clearance do I have? Yeah, not bad. Okay. Now we have to set up the uh, underquilt. Let's go. Okay, so my hammock's set up. It's not a perfect hang. It's not bad considering how close these trees are. I have the worst luck with trees, actually. It's probably me, not the trees. But uh, the hammock itself, very cheap hammock I got from uh, Amazon. I could pay 30 bucks for the straps and everything. Straps seem pretty good. Don't seem to be damaging the tree, which is great. The uh, underquilt, again, very cheap underquilt from Amazon. My theory this year is the first, this is the first year that I've actually hammock camped. So I don't want to spend a lot of money in it. If it's something I don't enjoy, then I'll go back to tent camping, no problem. But I do enjoy it so far. I've done it a couple times and we're going to try it again today with the underquilt. So it's one of those things. If it's something I really enjoy. I will invest the money into it into something much better. Uh, and then I will either uh, give this to the kids or donate to somebody uh, that could use it if I'm not going to use it. So that's that's kind of my theory. So let's get this thing set up and uh, hopefully it's not too difficult. I've never set up an underquilt before and we will find out.
All right, so I think it looks good so far. Let's give it a little test. Seems pretty good. We'll find out how warm it is. It's gonna go down to, uh, what, six degrees Celsius tonight. So, not sure what that is uh, Fahrenheit, but we'll see. It's gonna be the coldest night that I've been camping so far. So, we will, uh, we will find out. All right, more stuff to do. Okay, so I've already eaten, which was good. That pea soup was delicious. I've already set up the hammock and the underquilt. I think it's going to be okay. I have a sleeping bag to go on top. Keep me nice and toasty warm over the night. Um, I think I'm going to start a fire soon, and then uh, that's it. I'm really not doing much tonight. I'm just sitting by the fire and chilling. I, uh, I'm going to inspect the, uh, the bike, make sure everything's good on it. So uh, for my trip for tomorrow... Uh, getting out of here, but I think uh, so far so good. It was uh, a good trip in uh, My legs are a little bit tired. I'm gonna enjoy a nice Campfire keep me warm sit on my butt. I did bring a camping chair It's actually pretty light. It was one of the biggest things other than my sleeping bag actually, but I was able to compress that It's one of the biggest things in my uh, my bike bags was that chair But you know what I've learned long ago to uh, get comfortable at night around the fire. So I'm glad I brought that chair. I'm gonna have to set that up, get the fire going, and then, uh, yeah, it looks like it's a beautiful night. This is an awesome spot. I am loving this place. So today was a good day. I had a lot of fun on the bike. Um, I was kind of nervous the first time you do something like that, but uh, it turned out all right. I made it and uh, was able to set up camp. Hey, look, I'm enjoying a nice campfire here. It's actually kind of chilly. This is my second fall trip and probably my last fall trip of the season here. Um, maybe I'll get one more in, but I, I don't know. Um, before this, I did an SUV trip and that was, that was interesting. Um, but this bike packing trip was fun. Uh, it's fun planning it, planning my route, also planning um, what I was gonna pack. Didn't really pack a lot. And I think that was probably the right way to go. Um, I can't believe how heavy the bag was, even though I really wasn't uh, packing that heavy. Goes to show you, every little thing adds up. It's kind of like uh, backpacking. You don't want to carry a lot of stuff, but you want enough uh, to make sure your time's enjoyable. So that was good. My legs are tired. I'm probably gonna go to bed early today because I am pretty tired. All right, so we will see you tomorrow. morning slept pretty well the uh, under quilt really helped actually um, sorry I gotta stretch and stuff uh, the uh, under quilt worked pretty well sleeping bag was pretty good it's not a really warm sleeping bag but I think it got down to five degrees last night so uh, that's cold enough for me so that's pretty good I like this setup you can really tell the difference of having something underneath you like this. It really uh, keeps you warm and takes away all that wind. And uh, I don't know the science behind it. I guess it captures some of the, uh, the warmth. But uh, yeah, it worked pretty well. Um, I did forget my uh, inflatable pillow. So I thought that was going to be an issue. But it wasn't too, too bad. Um, I had maybe a couple leaves land on me <laughs> last night. Once it scared the crap out of me. I was just kind of dozing off. So I wasn't sure what that was. But for the most part, I think uh, it was pretty good. Uh, the stars were beautiful last night. I was able to sleep under the stars. Uh, there's a bit of a canopy here, but I could still see the stars and they were awesome. So that is great. So I think not having a tarp, you know, 
wasn't a big deal. It would have protected me from those leaves, but no, nothing, no rain, nothing really big fell on me. No animals jumped on me and wanted to snuggle. I'm a bit disappointed in that, but all right, we're going to have a simple breakfast this morning. Some uh, oatmeal, some coffee, and then uh, we got to go. We got to tear down camp, which isn't much, which is good. And then uh, we got a, whatever, a three hour bike ride home. It's supposed to be a beautiful day. Let's go. Can't lie to you people, I cheated this morning. I went with instant coffee instead of the uh, French press coffee. And I didn't want to bring the French press. I had other options for coffee, but you know what? Sometimes instant coffee is just so easy, so and it's not too bad. But you know what? I wouldn't blame you if you shut the video off right now because you're so disappointed in me. We're gonna have some yummy, I'm not gonna say yummy. We're gonna have some oatmeal. There's a little bit of cranberries and uh, walnuts in there. Should give me lots of energy for the ride home. Gotta go get changed to my shorts. T-shirt's gonna be a beautiful day. So I uh, don't know how often I'm gonna stop for uh, photos and video, but maybe, maybe I will. The whole trip I think was, was pretty decent. It was a good learning experience. I made a lot of mistakes, but then uh, I learned uh, from some of those mistakes, so that's good. So I know I would do things differently next time. One of the big things I forgot to mention is uh, firewood. So in this specific spot, you're not allowed to collect dead firewood around here. Whatever, that's fine, that's the rules, and that's fine, I get why they do it. However, I would have to go to the store to get firewood, and I was planning on doing that. But I did run into a nice couple um, right towards uh, Lac Philippe. They were actually canoeing, and they saw uh, they saw me on the bike and uh, we talked a bit. There's not many people up here. And it was funny because they, uh, they, uh, we talked about firewood and where to get it. And I told them that where to get the firewood. Uh, and I said, I'm actually going to go uh, to the camp, set it up, and then come back and pick the firewood. And they laughed because they're like, how are you going to bring the firewood on the, uh, the bike? And I said, ah, I'll do it. I manage it. I have bungee cords. I was going to take everything off and manage it. Um, but I kept biking around a little bit. And uh, when I came back on my site there was actually uh, firewood here uh, with a note saying uh, enjoy the firewood uh, that was very very nice of them they did not have to do that uh, it saved me probably about an hour and uh, a good bike ride because the, the wood would have been heavy I had no other way of doing that so uh, it goes to show you a lot of nice people out there so I really appreciate it. thanks guys that was uh, very sweet of you you did not have to do it but I did appreciate it and uh, I didn't use all the firewood, so I'll leave some uh, as a as a gesture to the next the people here. <sighs> okay, well, I guess we better get going. Double check the bike, fill up the water bottle. Oh, my other water bottle. I don't have my uh, actual water bottle that goes in the bike anymore. I broke it. Leaves are falling plenty. Okay, so thanks for joining me on this adventure, and uh, hopefully I get back in one piece. My love The seasons come And they go But I hope